next chapter we have here is mathematically similar okay there's actually two ways to solve it so the first one will be using skill factor the other one is you don't have to find extra stuff you just add in square root or cube root or just simply compare it okay both way you also have to learn it because for different question format you are required to use different method so another keyword to remember is congruent means identical in form so for example i have two questions here okay both using the method that i mentioned earlier okay same question two different solving method okay so for the first one find the area of the smaller triangle Okay, so you're required to find the skill factor first by simply comparing the sides that we have, which is 5 and it was being extended to 13. Okay, so 5 multiplied by a skill factor, it will result in 13. So by shifting the 5 to the other side, you get the skill factor as 2.6. Okay, so for the smaller area, okay, just take the smaller area multiplied by the skill factor square then you will get the bigger area so g equals to 50 divided by 2.6 square then you will get your smaller area as 7.4 cm as for you to find the ac's length you just take the 12 times 2.6 then you will get the AC's length as 31.2 So moving on to method 2 The same question First thing that I did was to compare and put area at the top for both of the triangle So I have For area you are required to square root it So square root G over 5 the bottom denominator I put it as the sides that we have equals to square root 50 over 13 by doing the shifting and calculation you will get your G as 7.4 and for your AC's length okay unknown over 13 equals to 12 over 5 just compare the sides accordingly then you will get your ACs as 31.2 so the same question two different solving method moving on to the next question okay we have a cylinder here okay one has a height of 8 the bigger one has a height of 15 and the volume okay they like to give different names to volume they can name it as capacity they can name it as liters they can name it as density and stuff okay so you require to take note on this different term but they are referring to the same thing so as usual find the skill factor first so 8 multiplied by something equals to 15 so the skill factor here is actually 1.875 okay for smaller volume multiplied by the skill factor to the power of 3 will get you the bigger volume so for us to calculate volume the skill factor must be in the power of 3 or cubic okay so we got 5924 multiplied by 1.875 to the power of 3 will get you the bigger volume which is 39,049.8 cm cube And for you to find the radius of the larger triangle okay first i find my smaller cylinder radius first by using the formula so i get it as 15.35 so 15.35 multiplied by 1.875 equals to 28.78 so things to take note if it's an area then you're required to square the skill factor if it's a volume then you cube it okay if it's just a unit itself like, like describing the length describing the weight okay 
you just use it as it is so you don't have to change the skill factor or stuff okay moving on to the second solving method same thing for volume we cube root it instead so cube root of 5924 over 8 equals to cube root of unknown over 15. So after the calculation, we'll get the same results, which is 39,049.8 cm cubed. And for us to calculate the radius of the shape, okay, repeat the same method to get the radius of the smaller cylinder first. So smaller cylinder radius over the height equals to bigger radius over 15. So after the calculation, you get the same results of 